Hello everyone, welcome to the Stock Trading Tutor channel. In this video, we'll be looking at the recent stocks in the news. Before we go into the topic, I'd like to tell you about the Stock Market Awareness Program which we are conducting tomorrow on 20th July 2019 in Patna and Delhi. So this is a free training session in which stock market beginners and experienced traders can benefit because we'll bring in market experts who can tell you about the stock market basics of trading and they'll give you tools, techniques and strategies which you can apply to your trading style and become better at trading and gain more profit. So be sure to attend. Just register for this program by, click, by clicking the link in the description and filling out the details. Now let's go into the topic. Today the results of the following co companies will be announced. So they are Reliance Industries, RPL Bank, Dabur India, l and Finance Holdings, Interglobe Aviation, Bandhan Bank, l and Technology Services, ICICI Lombard General Insurance Company, Bulgaria Industries, Hindustan Zinc, Danuka Agritech, Mahindra CIE Automotive, JM Financial, Philips Carbon Black, Int Bank Merchant Banking Services, Tokyo Plast International. ACC Limited's Q2 results were announced, showing a profit growth of 39.5% to 455.7 crore rupees. Their revenue grew 7.8% to 4149.8 crore rupees year on year. Valis India's first quarter results showed a consolidated profit jump to 67.76 crore rupees versus the 54.74 crore rupees previously. Their revenue rose to 623.24 crore rupees versus the 573.11 crore rupees year on year. Scient Q1 results were announced showing a profit fall of 48.8% to 90.5 crore rupees versus 176.6 crore rupees. Their revenue dipped 6.4% to 1089 crore rupees and their dollar revenue declined 5.2% to $156.6 million quarter on quarter. Sterlite Technologies Q1 results showed a profit dip of 14.4% to 141.4 crore rupees. Their revenue slipped 20.4% to 1,432 crore rupees quarter on quarter. Saskin Technologies first quarter results showed their profit slip 15.3% to 23.2 crore rupees and their revenue dipped 0.7% to 134.6 crore rupees quarter on quarter. L&T Infotech's first quarter results showed the profit fall 11.3% to 355.7 crore rupees. Their revenue dipped to 2,484.9 crore rupees versus the 2,486 crore rupees previously. Their dollar revenue grew 0.8% to $356.5 million quarter on quarter. Uttam Galva Steel's first quarter results showed a consolidated loss at 269.38 crore rupees and their revenue fell to 112.24 crore rupees versus the 199.3 crore rupees year on year. Hudson Agro's first quarter results showed the profit jump 35.4% to 51.2 crore rupees and their revenue rose 15.2% to 1,423.2 crore rupees year on year. Hutco's company's board has approved the issue of non-convertible debentures worth 1,250 crore rupees. Thermax company has backed orders worth 471 crore rupees from the Indian government power company for a project in Jharkhand. Oriental Bank of Commerce has received credit ratings from CARE, which has revised their rating outlook of Tier 1 and Tier 2 bonds from negative to stable. Jash Industries has received credit rating from Crisil, which has upgraded the rating of their long-term bank loan facilities from stable to a triple B with outlook positive, and their short-term rating has been upgraded to A3+, and it has been reaffirmed. Reliance Nippon Life Asset Management has received AC CCI's approval for acquisition of up to 75% stake in the company by Nippon Life Insurance. These are the sources for the specific news item. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos on stock market and trading, please subscribe to this channel.
If you'd like to learn about the stock market, you can attend the free training session which we are conducting on 20th June 2019 in Partner and Delhi. You can benefit from this program by registering by clicking the link in the description and filling out your details.